coming up, we'll find out what Rick Baker does on Halloween and get a rare tour of his secret laboratory. This electrifying laboratory, built by legendary makeup artist Rick Baker, is one of his best-kept secrets, shown only to his closest friends. And now, to movie magic. The inspiration for this monstrous monument came from the 1931 version of Frankenstein, the film that Rick Baker once begged his parents to see. It was a moment that Ralph and Doris Baker will never forget. One night he came to me and he said that Frankenstein was on that night, and, but it was real late. So I stayed up with him and we watched it together. I asked my father, you know, I said, how is it this man has a square head? Do you know where did they find this guy with a square head like that? And my father said, uh, that the, it's makeup, it's an actor, and his name's Boris Karloff, and uh, he's wearing makeup to make him look like that. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! I went to my mom one day, and I said, you know how I, I kept talking about being a doctor all the time? You know, I, well, I've decided now that what I want to do is make monsters. You know? And I was like, oh, <laughs> monsters, well, that's nice, Ricky, you know. Since Baker's quarter-a-week allowance ruled out professional makeup materials, his first monsters were of the homemade variety. My mom made some pie dough and mixed some food coloring in, and you know, I'd pile this greasy pie dough on my face and kind of try to shape it into something. But after the pie dough phase, you know, I'd get Kleenex and, and, and just wet them and put them on my face and go, hey, look, I'm a mummy, you know? <laughs> Baker's Kleenex phase was followed by this medley of masks and convincing wounds made from mortician's wax. I'd make up all my friends in the neighborhood and, and third-degree burns and horrible gashes and bullet wounds, and I'd go home with them to see what their parents' response was. But we never knew what was going to come out of this room because he'd be in there for hours, and all of a sudden, out of his room would come a gorilla or an old man or just whatever. Look at that. <laughs> I never did like that one. No. Uh, <laughs> that's a grotesque, really. It is. Uh -huh. yeah. And for Rick to be grotesque, that's unusual because... <laughs> Although his parents were Rick's first audience, Halloween was his special night to show his talent to the world. This one Halloween, he made up a gorilla, so kind of a little crowd gathered, and uh, you could hear the kids say, uh, that's real. And the other kids say, no, nah, that's not real. Yeah, it is. Look at those ears. They're real. And his mouth moves. I had a chain that I was holding on to Rick, and I pulled it, and it broke, and Rick took off after the kids. There wasn't any question about the real gorilla. As seen in this rare home movie footage of a backyard Halloween show, Rick Baker continued this fun and frightening tradition even as an adult. Baker worked alongside longtime friend and makeup professional Bob Burns. Burns contributed to such films as It Conquered the World and Invasion of the Saucer Men. Rick Baker was a teenager when he and Burns first met, but Burns' experience allowed him to recognize Baker's innate talent. He brought some sketches, some masks, and, and things he had played with. And I'm looking at stuff saying, wow, this looks pretty professional here for 13-year-old kid especially. Uh, I could see the genius already. It was there. Forty films later, Baker still delights in creating spectacular Halloween makeups for himself and his family. He gets even more satisfaction from bewitching audiences with the spectacular creatures he brings to life on the screen. I still have to kind of do a reality check. It's like, look what you're doing, Rick. You know, you're making toys and you're playing with them and you get paid well to do it. In a career that has taken him from boy prodigy to living legend, 
Rick Baker has succeeded by doing what he loves best. I think the difference between a good makeup artist and a great makeup artist is actually just the desire and the love to, to do it right. You know, I mean, I, I love what I do. Like a modern-day Dr. Frankenstein, Baker transforms actors into people their own parents wouldn't recognize. I mean, not that I want to sew together dead bodies and bring them to life, but I do like, you know, taking rubber and plaster and acrylic and aluminum and making something that looks alive and at least lives on film for a moment. And it's really thrilling. You know, I, I do feel like running around saying, it's alive, it's alive. Given Baker's enthusiasm and dedication, it's certain his makeups will continue to dazzle, amaze, and be mistaken for the real thing long after the fat professor sings. Friday night, Friday, Friday, Friday.